Well, hello. This is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 25th of June 2022, except it's not. I'm a bit sweaty. You can probably tell. And I have no beer. The reality is I'm doing this on the Friday night and I've got practically everything and little bits of something and okay macbook pro to be replaced iphone 10s camo studio camo camera uh, ipad pro in sidecar two side lights uh, um yeah so the reality is i could either get up very early tomorrow morning and do it as per last week or I could have an extra hour or so in bed and get up at the same, well, get on the bus at the same time. I'll come back to that because that didn't happen. And then go to Caffili and then Lolfest 10. Which is, it's the first one since Storm Dennis and the start of the Rona. Um, Phil has been a stalwart. And he's still going and he's still producing great beer. And tomorrow's going to be sunny and then cloudy and then rainy and then thunderstormy. Or none of those. Who knows the way the weather has been at the moment. I certainly don't. That's a fact. Anyway, so if you've seen this before, this is a look back on the week. Mainly about things. Lots of things happened anyway. Um, let's start with the app of the week. Actually, it's a forward look. I'm going to do a bit of blogging tomorrow, posting to WordPress. The app I'm going to use, iPhone and iPad and, well, there's a Mac version, but you have to pay for that. So I've only got the first two. IA Writer. Not cheap, very easy to use, very clean, very powerful. I'm probably far too good for my writing style. Get it in the App Store. That's a recommended, by the way. Um. Okay. So. Um. The thing of the week. The thing of the week was sleep. Now, I usually don't have any problems sleeping, and I didn't this week. But it was so hot. You'd wake up in the morning and you just didn't get the quality of sleep. I felt like. Going back to bed at about nine o'clock in the morning. I know I get up in the stupid o'clock, but anyway, um, we've had a bit of rain today. It's cooling down, and there's an alert. Um, so I hope I get back to sleep. I really do, please. Um, but the summer has its issues as well, and that's one of them for me. Hmm. Needs aircon. Couldn't afford aircon. Definitely won't be able to afford to heat the place in the winter, you know. Anyway, the phrase of the week, because there were two elections yesterday, is midterms. Can you trust them? What should you glean from them? Is the Prime Minister that unpopular? You know my opinions. Um, Liberal Democrats. Are they just a party you vote for because, well, protest? And the red wall, the blue wall. Um, hmm. As many questions as it answers. Oh, we only had a majority of 24,000 last time. We're pretty marginal now. That is the, usually the joke. That's the comment. Um, glean from that what you can. Well, anyway, I I enjoyed it. Politics in this country at the moment, there's a lot of it going on. <sighs> and we are living in interesting, if somewhat expensive terms. 9.1% um, inflation was this month. Mm. Anyway, so let's look back on the week. Last Saturday. Um, okay, so let's just go to Caffili. The bus is 7.40. Uh, oh, it's 7.42, 7.43, 7.44, 7.45, according to Stagecoach's app, and then it just disappears. And it didn't show. So what's happening with the app? If it's cancelled, you're putting cancelled. They're very good on putting it on Twitter, what is cancelled, but it just didn't show. 
Luckily, I got to Caffili not too late, found my usual spot, spent the afternoon in Brew House uh, Tap House. Brew Monster Tap House. Oh gosh. Um, and um, it rained a lot. Sunday was, well, that rained as well. Um, although there was planting more salad leaves because the last two lots were rubbish. And the good news is this one straight away coming through. It's good. Thank heavens. Um, and I've been out watering and watering and then waiting for rain and watering again. Hopefully the week ahead is not going to be like that because there's lots of rain forecast all the way through the week, um, which is the great British summer. Also on Sunday, um, now I had an activated sim, swapped it over into the MiFi, worked a treat, uh, spent a long time trying to log back onto the MiFi, forgot the password, factory reset it, changed the APN, and on the third day it downloaded 5 gigs of data. I'm not sure what it was logged on to, but I don't know where that 5 gigs came from, but it's lucky it was out of 40 gigs. The rest of the week... Not so much of a problem, back to normal. Please, please, please. Don't download five gigs again. I don't know what it was. I really don't. Anyway, on Monday I found out the last Microsoft Patch Tuesday update breaks the Wi-Fi hotspot function. Luckily I wasn't using it because I only use it when I go away. What it allows you to do is if you logged on to say the hotel Wi-Fi, you can retransmit that Wi-Fi to other devices with a new SSID and password. I share it. Very, very handy. And he broke it. Um, although I've learned today that there's a fix. It's the July teaser for next month. No, the June teaser for next month, which is July. And that's supposed to fix it. But ah, quality control, Microsoft. This is not the first time. And you just don't see... Mm, it's annoying. Anyway, Tuesday. The longest day of the year. The lightest day of the year. And the... Well, it's downhill all the way to Christmas now. And I was wandering down the street earlier on because it's light at four o'clock in the morning thinking, I need to go away somewhere and make use of this early morning light. The problems. Petrol, money, hotels, things and leave. It's just going to pass me by. Never mind. These are the things that are sent to try us. Um, also, on Tuesday, the train strike. Although, there were trains running from Radha to Murtha and Aberdeen. Um, because TFW Rail are not on strike. I think they've made a deal, I'm not altogether sure. And they have separate a cam signalling from that point up. If you needed to go to Cardiff for Central, there was a bus which apparently was pretty overloaded. Um, and I suppose we should thank the Metro, which seems to be well delayed and well overrun in terms of cost. Hmm, I think a lot of people just work from home. That's a change. Um, right, I also had a notification that one of my credit cards may or may not have been compromised and that a new one was on the way. It's in Apple Pay, so it'll be interesting to see whether it's already been replaced in Apple Pay or whether I have to take it out and put it in again. One of the advantages of Apple Pay is they can just replace the card um, because it's not done on the card number, it's done on your secret personal number, I believe. We shall see. Card hasn't arrived yet. Uh, there you go. Um, also, Tuesday, someone on the section has the Rona. Wednesday, another person on the section has the Rona. As far as I can tell, it's more of an inconvenience and food-like than anything else. I know more people with the Rona when, than when the Rona was fully on. And apparently you don't seem to get very much in the way of antibodies that stops you getting it again. Human body, get on with it. And of course in the week, polio. So we've got the Rona, we've got monkeypox, which you can't call monkeypox anymore. And now we've got polio. There's a lot going on. Uh, I think I, yeah, I um, I had, it was a booster when I went to Budapest, which was, um, 
84? 84, I think it was. Um, they say that um, the polio thing only lasts for 10 years, but I don't think they test it much beyond that, so I might even still have some antibodies against it. Although it seems to be mainly in London. Who knows? Um, Thursday was a thunderstorm warning, and then it got cancelled. Oh, we were looking that up today. Um, lightning, count, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds. Oh, elephants, every five seconds, one mile. Supposed to be, well, I've already said, thunder and lightning tomorrow. We shall see because um, it got cancelled on Thursday um, and petrol is still going up. Um, earlier on in the week from 181 to 184 and it's currently sitting at 187. And when I say 187, 187.9. So really speaking, 188. And that's a litre. If anyone's watching that in the States, that's a litre, not a gallon. Used to be in gallons. Although Fuel economy is still done in miles per gallon. Well, it is for me anyway. Um, right, okay. Scrolls up. Ooh. Hang on. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Sidecar. Um, what else we got? Uh, this morning I was complaining about the early morning light because it was actually dark and overcast and horrible and the weather's on the change and we've already had rain. I ordered a file for my brawn shaver on Monday. Um, when it came to the bill, it was an extra 70p on there. Now I realise why. Tracking it. It actually came from Germany. Amazon in Germany, and it came through customs, so extra 70p. I mean, brawn's quite a big company in this country, and I would have thought they would have had them in stock, but no, nope. it came in from Germany. That's strange. Anyway, um, the last thing, lunch today. Two things together. One, there was a manager's special, a mixed grill. And it was great. And it was lots of stuff. And I enjoyed it a lot. But the place, I wouldn't say it was empty, but well, it wasn't that busy. And it hasn't been all that busy this week. And I think with manager's special, there are a few people coming in. There are a few people eating. A few people drinking. Uh, so we have to sell it off cheap once it reaches its best buy date. And if it's happening in Ponty, I expect it to be happening all over the place. The recession is on. Really on. Like, you know. We're going to have to put up with this sort of thing. Anyway, um, that was it for my week. Tomorrow, Saturday, which is this is supposed to be, but it's not. Um, Lolfast 10. Um, start on the bus to Caerphilly, um, probably about 20 to 11, catch the bus down to the Nagaro Industrial Estate, uh, get off at the pottery, uh, across the bridge, uh, over to the brewery, blog and video. Well, that's my plan. Anyway, you'll probably see this tomorrow morning, which will be today. Then, I think, rabbiting. So, um, here we go. And um, thank you for watching the usual comments. Bye-bye.